Crystal, listen, you know, there's no obligation for the defense to put on a case. And maybe in a case like this, uh, you're better off poking holes into those state's witnesses who may have a motive to testify in a certain manner that's helpful, uh, not uh, for them uh, and the deals they cut with the state. You think that the, uh, at least what we see so far, Krista, do you think that the defense made a wise decision on putting on a case? Yeah, I, I kind of agree with what you're getting at here. I think that sometimes the best choice when you're um, in the defense is just to, you know, rest, not put on a case, not say a word. It's the, it's the people's burden. And then when you stand up before um, the jury in closing argument, you, you can say the reason why you did not see me put any witnesses on is because the defendant failed or the prosecution has failed miserably and you know, making their burden of proof to you, which is a, a very high burden, one beyond a reasonable doubt. And so um, I think that that might be the best course of action than to put on witnesses that may open up the door to other character inf information coming in um, that could be harmful for you. And and quite frankly, it looks like that, um, that the witnesses that were being put on here might have been um, done as, you know, just to perfunctorily put on a case. Um, they don't really seem to have any logical um, uh, reason. I can't find a logical reason for why they they have testified. So that that's kind of where I'm landing on this one. 